So right here we've got in a, a package that has been going back and forth between me and the shipping company. So I'm gonna make sure that they actually brought in the right product. So let's unbox it. So unwrap it. Then we'll see if indeed it's the right button. So the option that I had was to buy this thing myself, but then I need to make sure that if I'm buying this thing from them, uh, they're not going to come back and say, yeah, no, it's because of the router that you bought and everything. We have a recommended uh, router that you should have bought and you didn't actually take it. So I actually took the one that they said, yes, you must use this. Yeah, so basically this is a tender AC1200, uh, a dual band gigabit Wi-Fi router. So the one that I have there is not a gigabit. So basically, if I were to upgrade my line, the current router that I have is not going to support the, the gigabit. So this is something that they said, yeah, it should work for you. And they gave me two options, the cheaper one, which I didn't take because it's similar to the one that I have. There is a different brand. So I end up choosing this one to say, yeah, should one day I consider upgrading my line, uh, I will have something which will actually work. So uh, yeah, this is actually what I ordered looking at the box. And then I think I should just unwrap it and see how it looks. I'm not gonna configure it now. And that's because my worry is, I'm still confident that the problem is not the routers. The problem is with the ONT device from Metro Fiber, which uh, they still don't wanna replace. So I'm gonna do this maybe later on today and see if uh, it works and then I'll give you guys a feedback or I will probably do it at the end of this video but it's not gonna be right now so let's just unbox and then I'll give you guys the specifications of this and basically I'll let you know what you guys you can use it for so here at the back they actually showed the speed and basically the specification of what this one in particular is offering so with this you get uh the capability of getting one point oh that's why they call it ac 200 because you get up to 1200 megabyte per second so that's the over a gigabit so which is good and then you get uh, modes i don't know if you can actually do it with other routers but basically you can actually set in when you want the wi-fi to be on or off basically it allows you to set up multiple ssids and that's the name of the Wi-Fi. So you can set five different Wi-Fi's. The main one probably being the one that you are connected to. In my case, it's gonna be the one that I actually connect my phone, my MacBook, and the TV. So those things are on a separate network, which is the one that has the 5G capabilities. So those ones are connected to that. And the rest, they've connected to the other one, which, well, it's still faster because we have a 100 meg line but they don't get priority as the three device that i just mentioned so i can actually choose to say the other guest wi-fi uh as a guest you only have access to wi-fi from 4 p.m until 8 p.m after that you're welcome to leave my house i'm joking but basically that's what you can set to say at this point in time uh let this wi-fi be active and then when certain time reaches then it stops, then it switches off. And then if you search for it, you can't find it until the following day or until the next given schedule. And then they said it's easy setup. And then, like I said, it support both 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5G or 5 gigahertz. And then you also had a functionality to get access to Tender Cloud. I'm not sure how that works, but basically I think you will get a um, an app that you can access through the router to the tender cloud where you can store some files and then it has gigabit ports so yes we're gonna have some gigabit port and then you can do the wireless repeating and then you can set it up as a vpn server so that's pretty much about it the rest of the things they just show you what you're gonna use uh, each port for there's a power port which i will show you once we open it and then there's those four gigabit ports that you can use it to plug in your pc you can plug in your xbox or your smart tv it, if it has the uh the LAN port and then it also has uh wi-fi capabilities that you're gonna basically uh connect your devices over the wi-fi so what else yeah basically that's it and then they're saying the router that i chose this one in particular uh the 
wireless coverage range just that they're showing it in form of bar so i would say this gives me 80 out of 100 in terms of rating uh, that's the strength of the wi-fi and then it supports up to 30 devices so i can connect uh 30 devices on this router at a time and then uh it doesn't have usb okay mm, okay it's fine I could actually make use of USB to set up some like uh, streaming media, something to talk about it in one of my videos. And then this also has what we call internet accelerate. I don't know what that is. Uh, this doesn't support FTP. And then it supports the large file download speed. And then you can actually do video streaming. And they said online gaming, it is super fast. So I don't really do online gaming, but I guess it's something that I will see one day when i decide to uh to do the gaming so let's see if we can unbox this guy okay it seems like this box is full of specifications everywhere when i'm looking on this side there's other specifications and we'll see so let's just pop in it ah don't you like how this thing look look at this this look like gaming monster kind of a router but uh yeah let's see how do we open this oh on the side this is how you open it and the moment of truth sure seems like this thing has been shaking yeah it's been places manual was this this is a gnu general public notice license and uh, something to do with warranty this is the manual quick installation guide how to set it up and then this is one and the same thing because quick installation guide quick installation guide i think this both talk about the same thing yeah i think they talk about the same thing uh let me just make sure mm, yeah yeah they both talk about the same thing i don't know why they put two of them because they're actually showing the same thing i'm gonna put that aside and then what we find in here it's a power brick this is 12 volts of course i was expecting it to be 12 volts uh, let's put that aside and this thing is somehow dirty oh it's the box so i think when this guy was busy moving uh, all over the box, it was actually uh, scratching the box. Yes, it is like this, like dust somehow. Uh, another thing that I found in here, the it's a, it's a, it's a lead, LAN cable, Ethernet cable, uh, whichever way you want to call it. So this is basically what's going to connect from the ONT box to the router uh, to actually save the, the internet. So. Let's look at the main guy himself. Let's put this aside. So yeah, this is the router. Hmm. It feels cheap, so plastic. So I'm not sure the retailing price for this because I got this from my service provider as a part of the package that I have with them. So I ended up paying uh, like about 700 bucks. I'm not sure how you get, I will check for you. I'll link it on the description section below to see how much you can get this for, but it feels very light and cheap. So these antennas and stuff that shouldn't scare you. So let's just go through it and I will show you guys what's what. Uh, sure, okay. So basically here in front, here, this is actually showed that the system it's on. You won't actually see it because it's not on. But it's these are light indicators. The first light indicator on the left shows that it's a system light. If it's on, then it will light on. And then if the WAN cable is plugged in, the WAN cable is actually this one that will go to the um, from ONT into the router. So that's 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 the WAN that's the WAN port. And then the other one is the LAN. So basically how this router is, as I'm seeing it now here, even though it has this four gigabit port at the back, one of them is actually made for WAN. So the wide area network connection port will be the one that connects from the first Ethernet port on the ONT, and then it will come in and plug in here. Then, which means I'm only left with three 
uh, Ethernet port that I can actually connect to other devices to save the internet to like Xbox uh, and then TV, uh, desktop computer, the computer that has Ethernet port that can be plugged in on the other three. Uh, Ethernet port one, two, three, they are available for that. The WAN port, which is this, the first one here, is the one that will connect between this router and the and the ONT box. Uh, so another light indicator, it's a LAN uh, indicator light, which is sitting somewhere here. Uh, basically, this will light on if there's any um, any port that's been used between the one to three ports that I just mentioned. And then the last light indicator is for the Wi-Fi. If the Wi-Fi is on, then this light will remain on. And you know that with the router, you are able to switch off uh, the Wi-Fi and you can leave the LAN on. Mostly people do that for security or if they're not at home, then they switch off the Wi-Fi. They will leave everything that works on land because if you, unless you're physically connected, there's basically nothing you can do. So it's something that people can actually uh, put on a schedule to say 8 o'clock in the morning to 4 p.m. The Wi-Fi at home switches off. And then when you come back in the evening, then it switches on again. You don't have to actually do those control. So basically that's the light indicator that you have in here. And then on the side, there's nothing except for the antenna, antennas. And then at the back, going back again. So first port here, it's the AC port where you plug in the power adapter with that brick that they provided, the 12 volt one. And then uh, I'm gonna skip the ports cause when three Ethernet port, and then you have a reset button. So basically on the reset button, most of the router they will say, hold the reset button for 10 uh, seconds, then it will reset. Then if you press uh, the same button, I think once, it should allow a next device to see the Wi-Fi and then you can actually allow it either on the app that you have on your phone or you can actually type in the Wi-Fi key. And then the last button that you have here is the, it's just the one that you use to switch on off the Wi-Fi. So that has been it about this router, guys. So I'm gonna go and set it up. Then I will give you a feedback. Probably as this video is ending, I will add something at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.